Hey folks, it's Tom, your Frugal Prepper. I'm out here with the uh, GM Quad 4 LD9 engine. Um, last time we got the cams put on, uh, and this time we're going to get this inner timing cover installed so that we'll be ready to get our timing chain put on. If you like videos like this, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified each and every time I upload a video. Okay, so we're just going to start by making sure we, we're going to get our gaskets and everything in place for this timing cover. Um, the oil pan's already been installed here, so there's a gasket, part of that oil pan gasket that seals the bottom of this. Um, so we don't have to put a gasket there. Uh, what I like to do is just get a little bit of brake clean and a shop towel and just make sure that my gasket surfaces are all nice and uh, clean. And, and dirt and residue free and then we're also going to clean off these uh, surfaces up here where the gaskets go around these cam towers all right I'm just going to go over this little bit here and we're ready to go so what I also want to do here is this gasket where an oil pan right here is a little piece of rubber and since the oil pan is on it's going to fit kind of tight in there so I'm just going to get a little bit of oil on a shop rag and just lightly oil that rubber gasket to help this piece slide over top of it without damaging it. The timing cover slide over there. So now we're ready to put on our gasket here and uh, we're just going to Put this in, it's going to slide around that dowel pin there, and it's going to slide around this dowel pin here. It's going to fit really tight on the bottom, and that's that's how you want it. You want it pushed down into that corner. So make sure you get it kind of clear back at the corner there. And now we're, we're set on that. We've also got to put these gaskets on. Uh, these gaskets are actually identical. One's just going to go one way and one goes the other. So like one will go here with the red facing out and then one will go over here with the red facing back because you can't have them both facing out or they, they wouldn't seal up tight. So just like so. And those just kind of are going to hang there. So now you can see right here on these two dowel pins where the, the gasket slid on, our timing cover has to go over those two dowel pins and it's going to be a tight fit. We're going to have to put some downward pressure on it and get it on these. Uh, get it on these two dowel pins. So I would recommend a nice plastic hammer. This is a little Harbor Freight plastic uh, uh, dead blow. And we'll sit our cover down on here like so. Okay. And then, you know, it's going to line up with these top holes, but it's also got to go in these two dowel pins on the bottom. So what you're going to do is kind of get it to where it's going to start to kind of want to line up. And we just got to kind of bang it down and in on both sides to get that to start to uh, set in there. Once we get the one pin here set in, what I'm going to try to do it's just put it like that to get some twisting force that way and I just popped in. And we are set and pretty. So now we just got to get these little uh, gaskets kind of relined up. See my bolt holes got a little off there. I think the right tool for that job is a screwdriver and kind of line up all those holes so that our bolts can get through there. Okay, and now I've just got my bag. Now I've just got my bag of bolts from where I tore it, tore it apart. So I'm just going to start putting these bolts in. These shorter ones go up here if I remember right.
All right, I've got my uh, torque specs out here. So these bolts up here on the cam tower get tightened to um, 19 foot-pounds. And then these two bolts on the bottom here get tightened to 37 foot-pounds, these two bigger ones. And then these uh, ones around the inner perimeter here are going to get tightened down to 21 foot-pounds. So we'll go ahead and get these tightened and torqued down. Our uh, timer cover is now installed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our sprockets out for our two top gears and get those installed and then pin these into the correct position. Alright, so now we're ready to get these uh, camshaft sprockets on and get them pinned into position. Uh, now, in my previous video, before we put the cams on, we took our number one piston to top dead center and then turned it 90 degrees. Um, basically that piston will come top dead center every rotation. Uh, we don't have to worry about intake and compression stroke yet because the valves aren't open, the, the valves aren't in time for that. But you just want to get that piston top dead center and turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Um, and that makes sure that all the pistons in the middle and won't hit the valves. You don't want to be moving these cams around or installing or uninstalling them with the piston at the top or you end up bending the valve and you get to start this whole process over again so uh, what I've got is my uh, camshaft sprockets we're going to put on my bolts that hold those on you're going to need some Loctite to put on those bolts um, and then I have these two pins and they'll actually fit through the sprocket into this hole right back here and hold uh, the timing into place. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. So we just put our sprocket on here and there's a, a pin right here and a hole that that lines up with. Like so. And then we're going to put some red Loctite that I'm about out of on here. Thread that on in. We'll get the other one, some red lock tight on him. Oh. Squirting it everywhere. Go ahead and put this rocket on. Tighten this on down and turn this camshaft so we can pin it. Now you can see the camshaft starting to move. I get my pen ready. I'm not 
there. Make sure she's locked in place. She's not yet. Now she's locked in the place that we believe. So now I'm going to turn. Make sure. This is all set. Now we're just going to do the same thing over here. So this one's almost right in the spot. It actually just needs to come back just a hair to get into the right spot. Let me see if we can move her back. There we go. That one's in the spot. I want to make sure that this one is. Yeah, it is. And then when you hit these side to side, they're just not going to move at all. They're very, very tiny, minuscule now. So now we're ready to go ahead and torque down these two sprocket bolts. All right, so these go to 52 foot pounds. And now this shouldn't move or not much at all. There we go. All right, so now those are pinned and in place. So now we can slowly bring our crank back around to the top dead center position. Okay, so now we're ready to bring this back to top dead center. Um, under here, there's a little dot that this keyway pin needs to line up with. These, these are pinned. That doesn't mean you can just go spinning the engine over all willy-nilly right now. Because while it won't hit on one or four, it'll still hit on two and three. So you just want to bring this back to where that mark lines up. Nice and slow. If you feel any resistance, stop because you've done something wrong. So it's nice and smooth. Now our pistons, one and four, are at top dead center. And we're ready to go ahead and proceed with the timing chain installation. Okay folks, we're going to do the timing chain installation in the next video and get all that stuff put on, get the timing cover wrapped up. And after that, all the internal components are done. We just got to bolt on water pumps and all the accessories and we'll be ready to get this thing back in the car and hopefully run it. I'll talk to y'all later. This is Tom, Frugal Prepper. Be happy, be frugal, buy tools, learn how to fix things. I'll talk to you later.